Welcome back to another episode of Tax Tip Tuesday, where I share with you tips and tricks on how to prepare for your tax season, how to lower your tax liability, and answer your specific tax questions. So if you have any specific tax questions, please feel free to drop those in the comments below. I would love to make a video just for you. Hey there, I'm Kimberly Ferguson, CEO and founder of Emerald Expectations Accounting. I'm so happy that you're here. The Emerald Corner is a place where life and business meet. So I want to help you have a growing and profitable small business while maintaining a life with your loved ones. Today's video, we are going to be talking about the difference between marginal and effective tax rates. So this has been a popular question throughout the ages. What is the difference? Why does it have to show both of them on my tax return and what the heck do they mean? <laughs> well, let's jump in. So to start, if you missed my video on the different types of tax brackets and how that works, I'm going to go ahead and link that here for you because that will be an important precursor to this video. Okay. So according to that video, based on how those tax brackets are set up, your marginal tax rate corresponds with the highest bucket or highest pot that that money goes into. So if you make $40,000 in a year and you are a single person, you have a standard deduction of $14,600 in the year 2024, right? So that leaves you with $25,400 in taxable income. Of course, if you don't have any other types of deductions or adjustments to your tax return, right? So starting with that number, then we have the tax buckets, right? So we've got the 10% tax bucket, and then we've got the 12% tax bucket. So the income that you make from zero to $11,600 goes in that 10% bucket. And then the income that you make for 11,601 up to the 25,400 goes in that 12% bucket, right? So that means that your marginal tax rate is 12% because it's the highest bucket that you fall in, right? So then we have our effective tax rate. So the effective tax rate is going to be the percentage that you pay. So Let's say that you end up paying $2,816 in federal taxes on your income. That divided by the $40,000 of income that you made is a 7% tax. So in this case, your marginal tax rate is 12% because that's the highest bucket that you're in. But your effective tax rate is 7% because that is the percentage of your tax divided by your income. So two different tax rates, two different pieces of information on your tax return, right? Why are either one of these important? <laughs> well, so showing you your marginal tax rate is gonna show you the highest bucket that you're in, right? So that can kind of give you insight as to how much more money you could make without getting pushed into the next bracket. You can also go back and see if maybe you were to get a bonus, how big of a bonus could you get before you're pushed into the next bracket, that kind of thing. The other thing is it's a good comparison from year to year. You can see which bucket you were in in previous years and kind of compare it that way. And then with the effective tax rate, this is kind of your general how much are you paying in taxes each year number, right? So this is a really great comparison because you can always see from year to year to year what is your actual percentage of tax that you're being charged on your income, right? And so 7% is a pretty low number overall. But of course, that doesn't include any you know, state or local taxes or anything like that that you may have on your personal tax return. So, well, thanks so much for spending just a couple of minutes of your time with me today. I hope that you have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Welcome back to the Emerald Corner information with you where we share with you tips and tricks on how to prepare for your tax return where we share with you tips and tricks on how to get ready for tax returns <laughs> where we share with you tips and tricks on getting ready for tax season tax season how to lower your tax liability what's wrong with me <laughs> Duplicate. Make $40,000 again. Seven, 
basics. Yes. <laughs>